mention over and over that as far as our party is concerned, we have all the three options in our own constitution. And the number one choice always in our party is consensus because it actually creates a rank free uh, a convention. The reason being, all the stakeholders from the various zones will see, agree, and all aspirants also will, will agree and sign off before you go into the convention. So our first choice is always consensus. And we are still on that first choice. However, democracy demands that if even our constitution demands, and the constitution of Nigeria demands, that if that doesn't work, we'll go ahead and look at the other options. But right now, that remains our option uh, number one. On the issue of political appointees to the president, our delegates list are actually statutory. They are delegates. So if you have a former president as political appointee, if you have a former senator as a political appointee, these are already automatic delegates. You know, so let's not confuse the two. Just because being an appointee doesn't necessarily take you out of being a delegate. Because our delegates are classified clearly. Former president under our party. Former, former elected, these elected that party officials and the rest of that. I don't think anybody holding a political party office is actually uh, right now a political appointee of the president or the governors and the rest of that. So most of the list that we submitted, you know, if you are talking of the ones we have submitted now, we don't have commissioners, we don't have advisors, we don't have all those. Unless if somebody particularly was a former this or former that. In that case, you know, just, just being an appointee doesn't com completely exclude such a person, you know, from being a delegate. The, the issue of unity list, you know, is actually an item that you have to, well, two questions were asked on that. You know, one, when will it be ready? From all what we have had on the various uh, regions, you know, the unity list will be ready today, you know, and will actually be, be submitted. And somebody was saying, asking whether it is for real we are going to have unity list or not. Of course, yes, if you are talking of consensus, you must have unity list, because that's the whole essence of consensus. You know, if you are having consensus, you are going to have people who have agreed aspirants who have agreed, stakeholders who have agreed, and also the constituency that have agreed. And in that case, that name automatically will be adopted. And that's just the meaning of the unity list. That's how unity list are going to be put together. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. You know, during a period like this, you will see a lot of uh, news items, you will see so many things written, you will see this and that. Uh, one thing I will tell you is this. One of the most respected governors who often happens to be the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum and a very strong member of the APC is Governor Fayemi. And uh, Governor Fayemi was sitting when all the, all the meetings where all these had been agreed. So when you said that, I was surprised. But then I just received a report that actually there is a refuter, you know, by Governor Fayemi. He said he never said that. And that is uh, uh, what, I, what, what, what I have just uh, seen. On the arrangement for the consensus, I think anybody who has been following up with the activities of Mr. President and the party will understand that so many things have been going on towards consensus. Mr. President has met with the governors, met with the aspirants for chairmanship, met with the National Assembly, is meeting also with all the major stakeholders of this party and the rest of them. If you look at that, that is actually arrangement towards a consensus. As far as the payment uh, refund of their funds, I also mentioned, you know, earlier than I think so many governors have mentioned, the party also has mentioned that clearly, Mr. President has said, in case of fairness, you know, all those that have agreed, you know, on this consensus out of respect for the leadership of the party should have their money refunded to them. And I think that is it. One thing I can tell you clearly, the leadership of this party, the stakeholders of this party, the governors are united. When we go to our meetings, we are going to these meetings united. We don't hear some of the things that you hear. Sometimes, honestly, we came out of one meeting and they said that uh, the AP governors, uh, uh, APC governors meeting, and I had the governor of Kogi sitting next to me, and we came out and somebody said we had a meeting.
big fight, we nearly exchanged blows. <laughs> and um, there was zero discussion on that. Nothing even came close to that. You know, and that's the kind of thing. So sometimes you will see, you will hear a lot of things that may not necessarily be exactly 